Welcome back. Looking for a little peace or prosperity in your life? Well, our next guest says that they can be found in the ancient Chinese art of feng shui. This morning, feng shui expert Carol Hyder is back with some tips on how the simple act of rearranging the furniture in your home might actually make your life better. Hi, Carol. Good morning, Carvin. <clears throat> okay, so give me an overview of benefits. What are we going for here, and what are we doing so wrong with our furniture? Well, we forget that your space reflects your life. That's what the feng shui premise is, is that how your space, your environment is set up mm -hmm. can be a direct mirror of what's going on. And although a lot of times when I'm in a consultation, I don't necessarily move furniture around. It's what we're known for. <laughs> come in and rearrange my stuff mm -hmm. and but the the bottom line is is that still can be very impactful for people because sometimes I'll have somebody on the phone who says to me I'm stuck I don't know what to do I can't move forward I, I hate my life I'm buried and I'll just say move your furniture around because you're changing your pattern you're changing the way you walk through your space and therefore the way you walk through your life. You know, it's funny you should mention that. We've got some pictures we're going to get to in just a second, but <clears throat> my husband and I, my youngest daughter, spent the weekend moving every single stick of furniture out of her room, cleaning the floors, rearranging, bringing in new pieces, getting rid of old pieces. Her behavior has been amazing since mm -hmm. then. She loves her space. I don't see it as that different, but it's so orderly, it feels fresh, mm -hmm. the new arrangement in there has brought about the best mental change in her. So I saw it happen mm -hmm. in my own mm -hmm. house just mm -hmm. this weekend. That's crazy. Okay, well let's do go through these pictures. We're going to start off with uh, a before of an entryway. Tell yes, now this, this is, a, this is a, somebody I've worked with, so all these photos are in her house. And this is someone who had just moved to the area, and wanted to meet new friends, possibly get a relationship got into a job that she ended up not particularly liking. So here's her entry when she started. And it doesn't look so bad. A little bland. A little bland. So mm -hmm. all she did was add a few things, a little bench, and actually a sign that blatantly says, welcome. And, and so it like just warmed it up a bit. Mm -hmm. And that's a key piece, that front door. I mean, I've been on here saying how important that front door is, and it is. It's a pivotal piece. And so you want to make that have a strong statement about come in. And that mm -hmm. isn't about necessarily people, although in her case that was what she wanted, but opportunities and good luck and mm -hmm. blessings to come mm -hmm. to your life. To come in the front door. Yes. Okay. Uh, the second look is a living room. What was wrong with this <clears throat> Well, she had this, the chairs opposed to each other, so they were t across from one another. And this sets up argumentation. This is not a, an intimate setting. Um, and you see this a lot in front of fireplaces, and it, it seems like this should work, but in, in reality, you're both on, you're on different sides of the, of the issue. Mm -hmm. And so what we simply did was turn it around so that you're at a 90 degree angle, which is a great angle in which to have a good conversation. Mm -hmm. Because once you get, if you're opposed to each other or right next to one another, like both sitting on the same couch, that it does, it doesn't create a good eye-to-eye -eye contact you know like what the way we're sitting here in the studio this is a good this is a good angle at which we can talk and, and relate now did you buy anything ever buy anything new there she no but she did in one of these she did buy a new dining room set okay all right but, well, otherwise we it, used but, her furniture. but you don't always the point is you don't always that's have right. to get something no. new to no. get that, that that's right result okay right. let's look at the home office right so she had a small bedroom. We tried to maximize this. She tried to maximize the space by putting it up against a wall, thinking she could look out the window, have the open area, um, back to the door. This was mm -hmm. the problem. Her back was to the door. And at a point when she was really trying to make a statement about stepping out and coming forward, we simply turned it around, had her face the door. And the day after, she did this on a weekend, yeah. and I believe it was the next Monday, she was let go of her job with a severance package, which was sort of like what she wanted. Mm -hmm. But and she wasn't in a position to just quit, but the severance package gave her, a, you know, a cushion mm -hmm. so she could move on. So she made a direct connection with moving her office to what happened in her work mm -hmm. life. And having a new attitude. All right. Now we'll get to the dining room you were talking about. Uh, what was wrong with the dining room? Well, this is what happened when she moved in. The dining room, she had a dining room set, was sort of a dark little corner, and um, she had a set that she brought in from previous, from, from where she was. It doesn't look there. very inviting. No. Like you really want to sit there and spend time that, on That's exactly what she realized. So what she did first is she put wow. in a, yeah, she put in a sliding glass door. 
just to open it up out to the backyard, mm -hmm. which made a huge difference, and bought, which is good feng shui, a round table, mm -hmm. which we love. However, the issue here is that we're talking about someone who wants people in her life and she's got somebody slammed up to the wall in this setting. Yeah. You always want to get around your table. You always want. So this is going to require that the, the table be moved out, get up in line with the, and the next chandelier. photo will show you, in line with the chandelier, mm -hmm. and we put a, a bigger um, centerpiece on the table to... Mm -hmm to kind of link the two so mm -hmm. that it created a, you aren't just swept out the back door, but you can, you have a, um, a place to kind of land with your eye mm -hmm. before you go out the back. That was fun. And then the red paint was really, really fun. Wasn't lots that great? Of, lots yes, she was great with color. Well, great tips. Thank you for coming You're welcome. by. Thank you. And uh, always helpful. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. For more information about Carol or her classes, you can log on to showcaseminnesota.com and click on the Tuesday link.